And that's the sort of car that Dickie is talking about. And as you can see, one of the drivers uh, has a bit of a sense of humor. And that is something that, of course, is absolutely necessary when it comes to figure of eight banger racing. There's the dreaded crossroads right in the middle. And of course, the fun begins when the front cars catch up with the tail enders and they all meet on that crossroads. One or two of the slower ones there, just getting going. They'll come round and join the back here on the warm-up lap. Once they're across that crossroads, the flag will go down and we're on our way. Off the oval circuit and onto the figure of eight they come and already it's trouble for poor old Nick Linfield in 87. He gets the heave-ho as they go over the crossroads, but of course at the moment there's no traffic coming the other way. Still, we've only got one tail ender, Chris Colliver in 73, who's looking for a gap. Mind you, somebody's got themselves well and truly piled up in the middle there. 70, uh, 58, I think it is. Frank Gott uh, hooked up on the side of the other, but the, the crossroads is now becoming a little bit congested as they come through. Through go some of the leaders. The back markers now are picking their way across. We'll try and pick up some place men for you in a moment. It uh, is or was 201 John Dodge, who was the leader, 141. Mick Hobbs was in second place, but that's the lead car, 2.01. He's just run the gauntlet to the crossroads now, round the pit turn he goes. More trouble there as uh, 620, uh, 3.98 rather, and 6.25 are all in trouble. Of course, the secret is to drive well ahead and to really try and time your run across that crossroads to coincide with the others. 2.47's got problems, Barry Woods. the way to keep them moving. Still 201. He's still in the lead somewhere, but he's some way behind. They pick their way through the dust and the smoke. That's the lead car now. He's got some back marks in front of him. He's got to run the gauntlet to the crossroads, but things are a bit blocked up there at the moment. Weaves his way through. He's made it 201. With 141 is second, and 87 is third, and then 20. That's the uh, that's the rest of them. Big American motor there has really got problems. Bits of bodywork trailing behind. 201 getting a rough ride, and in fact, he's pushed out. So that's the leader, and so we've still got uh, 141 now has taken it up. 141, 87, and 20. They're the first three. And this is 141, Mick Hobbs. Well, the unbattered looks like an old Riley, I think. Old Woolsey. He's going well at the moment. 201 scuttling across the crossroads. He's dropped back now to about fifth place. Oh dear, and I think Basho has done all the bashing he's going to do today. Still 141. Uh, he's dropped down into second place now. 87, in fact, nipped past while we were looking at those others. 87 went past him. Nick Linfield is in the lead. 20 is now second. There's 87, just gone through. There he is.
This is the snag, of course. You can be driving well ahead and uh, eyeing up the way the traffic is coming to that crossroads to time your run. And, of course, all that goes out of the window as soon as the guy behind starts giving you some unexpected extra speed just at the wrong moment. 87. Oh, number 20 just makes it. Still sitting there. Three more to go. his way through the debris, through the dust. Just one more to go. Inside the last lap now for Nick Linfield on 87. Roger Wilkinson fallen way, way back, and in fact, uh, although he's still second number 20, he's a long...